Hey guys, how's it going? Capran here. Today I want to give you guys uh, probably the most interesting bone mare filled game I experienced the other day. Now I started off uh, with a video yesterday going over the draft and kind of how I came to have five bone mares in arena. Well, the next day when I finished the arena run, and it ended pretty well by the way, I went the distance, but man, the bone zone is serious. There's it's just something you have to love and hate about this card. You know, it really sucks when it's a marginal game and you're at the end of it where, you know, your opponent just trades up and you don't have removal. But sometimes, especially when it's happening on your side, it gets so silly when you have so many copies of a cheesy card that, I don't know, there's a special feeling that I can't exactly describe that I rarely have and I had to show you guys my latest experience of so hope you guys enjoy the bone zone and yes the uh tldw is uh bone mare is a good card and you can pick as many as you want enjoy the clip and i'll see you guys in a bit i want to know when i can stop using this shit card back excuse me <laughs> it's a pretty cool card back dude all right why, why are you gonna trash like that why are you gonna do that don't do that Said it myself. I I may have said that. I don't have a I don't have a three drop, so there's no point in wild growthing first. I might as well play that first. Maybe I can challenge something that I did play. Maybe not. Yeah, it's nice. October roll went my way. I can't always count on that. It was good. We request Marvel feature fight. Um, well, I only do Shadowlands on stream. It's usually like a couple hour thing. Uh, I'll do the next one. So, like four or five days. In Marvel Future Fight, since the last stream, I T2'd... I'm like done T2'ing stuff, basically. I'm gonna T2 Red Hulk very slowly, and that's it. I'm done. I decided uh, Scarlet Witch is uh, not terrible, but not worth uh, the cost. Uh, so I'm not getting Scarlet Witch. I'll skip her uh, one mission. One getting Apocalypse, which will happen in like 40 days or whatever long time period. I T2'd uh, Spider-Man. I T2'd Spider-Man 2099. Um, I T2'd Black Panther. Um, Black Panther is kind of worth it. Um, recent discussion on which guys you might want to T2. That discussion didn't go over the fact that some characters gain a crazy amount of stats when going to T2, and Black Panther is one of those. Again, again. Black Panther gets like 3,000 physical attack when you T2 him. That's kind of worth it. Um, I got Thanos to 5 star, and I got Cable to 5 star, I can probably get Cable to 6 star in a few days, and probably in about a week I can afford to get Thanos there as well, hopefully. Bone Train. Um, I think there was one other guy I T2'd. I was thinking of T2 Captain America, but then I realized he sucks, so I didn't do that. Holy moly.
Does he really have a death? Oh, he has a silence. Little does he know. I care not for the silences. This guy is going to uninstall. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna let me finish. How many hours do I have in Mortal Future Fight? Well, I like I, I have it running sometimes when I'm streaming. I have it uh, playing when I'm like playing with the doggies. I have it playing while I'm editing videos. I have it playing when I'm like on the road. Oh. Damn, dude, that's pretty sick. Did you consider playing around the fifth one though? Come on, bro. Welcome to Arena. It's, it's a game that you, like, the game is 90% farm, which is like autoplay almost. Actually, literally autoplay in some cases. It's like 90% that. And it's 10% like very difficult, skillful content that you have to practice to get good at. So I'm still, I'm still working on that, that last part there.